if you know matrix if you know calculus and if you know vector then there is nothing you need to know in mathematics so what is a vector first of all what is a vector and what operations we can do on a vector okay so generally we see vector as a kind of arrow in mathematics and then we add to arrow and then we do dot on two arrows and then we do cross on two arrows okay i believe there will be very few people that really understand what is the actual kind of importance of this mathematics is if we just come on a paper and pen then it is just a calculation of the real physical world. okay so mathematics is nothing special uh, it's not a kind of different than a physical okay rather than uh, computing in mind or doing too much computation so mathematics like matrix or uh, a different way of uh, adding a few things that is integration or dividing or different way of adding continuous thing is integration or dividing things is differentiation so so whatever we do in our day to day life and we kind of just sample them in or categorize them those activities in kind of few patterns like it will fall in okay so this much i need to calculate so it will fall in integration and it will fall in differentiation may not fall in integration differentiation it may fall in simple multiplication or addition or simple division okay or if we are doing too much cross cross uh, addition okay like i have kind of a uh, uh, four inputs and there are two outputs and all four inputs so all two outputs are connected to all four in, in inputs so two or i have one output and four input so four inputs are connected to one output very simple i have one more output not two output so first output is connected to four input second output is also connected to four input okay now first output you want to if i want to get then four times then first first input may kind of first input has some value and then it may be multiplied by some attenuation second input has some value and it may be multiplied by some attenuation like four inputs are there and they are multiplied by some attenuation I mean signal strength is coming and they are getting attenuated and they are leading to one output same thing happens for the output two what is output one and two so means we need to much can we can kind of put in a pattern called matrix and input matrix and output matrix and we can do kind of matrix one so it's nothing more than that. what is a vector okay so can we consider like energy like there is one energy energy is moving in a direction okay so energy energy moves in a direction so energy moving in a direction and it has a strength if energy moves in a direction so if energy moves it has a direction and it has a strength like i am a person i am an energy source and i am moving so if i move in a kind of one direction moving then i have a direction if i talk about coordinates okay so direction may not have kind of we just place them in coordinates so suppose i am kind of placing in coordinates so x y and z or i j and k so these are the coordinates so if i am moving in x direction then i have a kind i am a kind of i vector 
I am energy source and I am moving in x direction. So my direction is i. What is my kind of speed, velocity? It is 10. So I have my strength is 10. Means in that way I can turn it or <laughs> I have power in different way. But let us consider the speed. So my strength is speed is 10. So I can say I am 10 i. Okay. So <laughs> I am 10 i. 10 i means I am energy source. I am an energy source moving in i direction and my velocity is 10. Now there is another guy and his name is 5 i. 5 i and 5 j. So his strength in i direction is 5. His strength is 6. Uh, uh, y direction, x direction, y direction is 5. Then what is its direction? Then it heals at 45 degree in kind of x, y plane and there is moving. So that is the, uh, so that is the vector 5 i plus 5 j. Someone is saying I am 10, I am 7 j. So he is moving plainly in y direction and his velocity is 7. So that is vector. If I say I am x i, y i and x i, y j, sorry, x i, y j and z k, so that I am that way. So what is my, what is my direction? So easy way is I can take a point on x, on i, i direction that is x, x, x point on K, uh, J and the kind of interception is Y and then point on K that is Z X, interception is Z. Then I come to a point and from origin if I draw that line to that point my direction is that. What is my strength? So X, Y, Z. So my strength is X in X direction, Y in Y direction. What is total strength? So that will come as kind of x square plus y square plus z square and to the root. So that is the kind of my strength. So if I say I am xi, then x square by x square and square root, that is x. So if I am I say 5i plus 5j, then it is 5 square plus 5 square, that will come to 50 and a square that will come to 7 point something. So that is the strength. So a vector has a direction. So like if I have a two points and if I say what is the vector then uh, first point minus second point is the vector. So if I say x, y, z is a point then that point minus origin that is 0, 0, 0. So x minus 0, y minus 0, z minus 0 then that is the one that is the vector so that is the direction of the energy and the strength we have calculated okay so whatever coordinate uh, 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 kind of uh, uh, we are talking so this is kind of orthogonal coordinate okay so what operation uh, kind of uh, uh, we can do uh, uh, on our vectors Okay, what can happen? Like suppose I have I have a vector and I mean energy source and then I have another vector and both concepts. Both concepts. Okay. Yes. There are there is one vector moving here and one vector moving here from this direction and they coincide. What will be the a resultant energy direction. Okay. So, so what will be that? In a, a resultant energy direction. So we, so now suppose uh, one vector is five j, one vector is five i. Sorry, one vector is five i, and another vector is ten i. And if they collide, coincide, they meet. Okay. What would be the net vector? So we can add it. 
So 5i plus 10i equal to 59 means they will add energy to each other and one vector will be resultant that will be 59. So one person <laughs> walking uh, in i direction with 5 km per hour, another comes from behind and it hits, then they will move in the, then they will become one and they will move in one direction at the speed of 15 km per hour. Okay. So, that is kind of vector addition. So, vector addition is if two energy source, if they collide, if they become one, if they co coincide, okay, then resultant vector, what would be its direction and what would be its magnitude, what would be its strength, okay. So, I have a vector called phi by and I have a vector called phi j and if they come from minus x and minus y direction and they meet at origin, what would be the result? So, 5i plus 5j, so they will move in 45 degree in positive x, y, y. So, uh, that is the vector addition. So, vector addition is nothing but their x component they add and their y component they add and they add the z component and whatever x, y, z comes new so, if I put a point and draw a line from origin, so that is the new direction of the vector. And x square plus y square plus z square, whatever comes, that is the strength of the vector. So, that is vector radius. Okay. Now, there is kind of a high usage, like if I have a, a person is moving in a direction called uh, i by square root plus j by square root. This is called unit vector. If a person is moving in, in a direction called phi i plus phi j, actually he is moving in a direction either we can say i plus j or i by root 2 plus j, j by root 2. So that is the direction. What is this strength? Phi plus phi means 25 plus 25 square 50. Square root of 50 is his strength. Okay. So, a person is moving 5i, 5j. Unit vector is a vector whose strength is 1. So, if I say 1 by square root 2 plus 1 by square root 2 uh, i and j, then what is his strength? So, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, that is 1 and square root 2. So, that is 1. So, unit vector is a vector which has a direction, but the strength is 1, okay. So, unit vector actually, it depicts the direction, okay. So, if I have a vector and it has a direction and it has a strength, then if I come to coordinate system like uh, x, y, z or i, j and k directions, three directions are there in the coordinate system. Then, what is the kind of uh, uh, effect of uh, the, the vector in, in the coordinate system? Like if I have 5i plus 5j, what is the, if it is energy source, how much energy, if someone is standing, one, one energy source is moving in kind of 5i uh, plus 5j direction, up, up, and then one person is standing on the i direction, okay, x axis. How much energy he should feel? Okay, that is the question. How much energy he should feel when another energy source is passing in 5i and 5j? So, whatever the area, whatever the vector we are talking about, what is its essence? What is its kind of uh, uh, its uh, effect in a particular coordinate, uh, in a particular uh, coordinate, uh, in, in a particular kind of uh, direction. So, if it is 5i and 5j, a person is standing in the in x axis, he would get 5, 5i, or I say 5i plus 10j, then person is standing in the i direction, he should feel a power of 5. So, that, that vector's essence in x direction is 5. 
and in y direction if someone is standing he would feel 10 okay so now it is not 45 degree so 5, 5 and 10 j will be bigger than 45 degree and person standing on the j z axis j axis he would feel more energy and even though a vector is not passing through it and a person standing in x axis he will feel less energy a person standing on K means that axis, he will feel not, he will not feel, feel any error. Okay. So, okay. So, a vector is passing and it makes a angle uh, theta, theta with a particular direction. So, like it make angle theta with x axis, how much, uh, what is the energy that it should x axis should feel because of that energy source. So that is called dot product. So or cos theta. So whatever the x we have, whatever the uh, vector we have into cos theta. Okay. That will come to me. So like if I say 5i plus 10j. So now the strength of that vector and I consider the direction of x axis a unit vector. So, strength of that vector into cos theta. The strength of that vector is hypotenuse and cos theta is base by hypotenuse. So, it is base. So, uh, if I say 5y plus 10j, what is the strength of this vector in x direction? That is 5y. What is the strength in y direction? That is 10 j. That is the strength of the vector into sin theta. So, if theta makes the angle with the x axis, then that is the strength of the vector in y direction is sin theta. One is called cross product. And one means it's a, if it makes angle with the x axis, then it is called dot product with the x axis and sin theta that is the, in y direction. So, the essence in y direction is called dot product. So, we talked about vector, vector addition, dot product. So, essence of a dot a vector in x direction, then it is called dot with x, means that cos theta, y direction, sin theta. Okay, but y direction is funny, it's not, it's not that straightforward. So, if uh, kind of, uh, if I make cross, so uh, we will see more on the kind of dot product and cross product. So, there is a formula. So, simple formula. Now, we talk that if there is a vector and what is the essence of vector in x direction. So, if there is a vector v and there is a vector i, then v dot i. So, what is the essence of v? in i in x direction. So, power of v into power of i that is 1 into cos theta. So, v power of v into cos theta. What is v cross i? v what is a v cross j? But I have angle with the i. So, in that case uh, it is power of v power of j and sin theta. So, that will come the perpendicular. So, the j essence that will be if 5i plus 10j then it will be 10 ok so dot product so if I have a vector and what is the essence of a vector along any other direction not only in x not only in y so I have a vector v and I have another di direction called uh, d I have a vector v and I have a direction d. What is the essence of v in the direction of d? So that will be power of v into okay power power of power means strength. Power is not a square. So strength of v into strength of d because if it comes in the direction of d then we will multiply the d or d can be unit vector and then angle between them that is the cos theta. 
or if they make angle as theta then what is the power in the vertex in in so if i have uh, a vector uh, v and d and their angle is in what is the kind of uh, its uh, power in a uh, perpendicular to the d so that will be cross product so that is v v strength d strength and sin sin theta okay but cross product is not that simple whatever the resultant we get the net okay so that so the resultant vector that comes vector means energy so if i make cross of two vector angle between two vector sin of that angle and their strength multiply okay so a dot a cross b is a power of a means strength of a into strength of b inside it so but that but it will resultant the resultant vector that will be perpendicular to the the surface what they may this is something very difficult. okay so if i calculate cross of two vectors then we get uh, their strength as per the sin theta between angles so if two vectors are parallel to each other and then we try to get the cross of these two then theta is zero so there is no essence of these two vectors in perpendicular direction obvious okay if there is a vector if there is a vector going in one direction in that direction only if i make cross and try to get the its essence in its perpendicular direction there is no essence if a vector is passing in x axis and i am trying to find its essence in y direction there is no no essence if a vector is passing at 20 degree angle from x axis and i am trying to find its essence in y direction there will be sin theta so it will be minimal if it is 80 degree then it will be very high but whatever the value we get that is the strength of a vector that is perpendicular to the surface of these two so if i say i have a vector for 5 i and 10 j that comes to x y plane the net the new vector that will be resultant of this cross will be perpendicular to the x y plane that will come in z direction okay so people say kind of right hand finger rule it will say the direction of the new vector the strength of new vector will be a one dot one multiplied by another two strength and sin theta no what is the like uh, uh, we say vector addition then if two vector collide then uh, we get the strength of new vector what about dot how much energy one is kind of one has essence in one direction that is dot sin cross how much energy it generates like if two vectors collides in same direction and if there is a vector there is a <laughs> if there is a pers person walking or running in x direction and from behind another person comes with high speed and they collide they will add the speed and they will move in x direction how much energy will get liberated in y direction or z direction perpendicular to it nothing i <laughs> it's not good but you can then actually see if you see the kind of accident or if you think about the collision or now if a person is moving in x direction a person is moving from y direction and if they collide then that destruction will be have so in that sense there will be energy that will be released that will be perpendicular to the surface okay the direction of energy and the strength of energy is there both strength multiplication and sin theta that is 90 degrees so it will be <laughs> multiplied by there or like i have a bolt it is a general example so i have a nut bolt and i have a wrench okay wrench so i have fixed the wrench so there is a nut bolt and there is a wrench now i am pressing the wrench so not a bolt would become loosened okay or splintered there and i am pressing on top of 
so angle is 90 degree if range direction and my hand direction angle is 90 degree then maximum energy will be released at the hook network and it will open quickly if range is in this direction and I am also pushing in this direction nothing will happen because I need energy in perpendicular direction ok so that it will rotate so so cross product is how much energy if two uh, two vectors they collide how much energy they release in a direction that is perpendicular to their, their self and that is maximum when it is 90 degree and that is minimum or zero when it is zero. dot product is how much they two vector there is only one vector is going how much energy it releases in a particular direction that is cost it. So if they are moving in same direction then maximum energy is essence in that direction. That is highly used in kind of uh, in lighting calculation. Like I have a surface. Like light is coming. I think my hand is glowing. What about this? There is no glow. What about this? See? See the glow of my hand. And what about this? And what about this? So, the normal of this hand, so normal is in this direction and light in this direction. So normal and light. If I do dot, so light essence, essence of the light in the direction of the normal is maximum here. So, theta is 0 and cos theta is 1. So, there we use dot product. Okay. So, like, and cross product, like one is moving and another is moving. So, they will just pass through and one is moving and power will liberate. See? Okay, so that is cross product. And so like a sign a light calculation, if I know the normal of my hand, so this is the normal. If normal and light direction, if they are in the same angle, zero, between them it is zero, the maximum uh, reflection will be there from the surface. Means it will shine. Okay, so uh, this is a discussion on the vector. Uh, probably a few slides we will see and how it really shines in the kind of where mathematics work. So that means.